Benin's head of state, Patrice Talon, is still refusing to grant the release of jailed former justice minister Brekia Madugu. Talon's predecessor, Boni Yayi, has lobbied for her freedom, but Talon says her crimes are too serious to be pardoned. It's very serious that whenever there's an election, a candidate decides to set the country on fire because things don't go their way. That is unforgivable. Madugu's bid to become the Democratic Party's candidate in the 2021 presidential election never got off the ground because of a lack of endorsement. She was later convicted of financing terrorism and has been jailed for nearly three years. The law accounts for forgiveness. In the law, forgiveness is symbolized by clemency, amnesty, or parole. It was shocking to hear that granting forgiveness is considered a political wrongdoing. Madugu's family tries to remain resilient in the face of disappointment. If we as siblings struggle to cope, imagine her children. Here's a drawing that my niece, her daughter, sent me two days ago. She wishes to celebrate Christmas with her mum. This will be the third Christmas without her. She says, I cry because I miss my mum. Madugu's lawyers also accuse President Talon of ignoring calls for an independent investigation into her jailing from the United Nations Working Group on arbitrary detention. We consider this matter to be extremely serious. It casts Benin in a negative light internationally. Last March, deputies of the Democratic Party proposed an amnesty bill aimed to benefit convicted members of the opposition and exiles. Uncertainty surrounds the vote as the presidential administration currently holds a majority in parliament.